Hey guys, Jimmy Chickie here from Keller Williams and just uh, giving you a quick uh, to-do section on your KW command. What is command? Um, it's kind of like a CRM on steroids. Uh, CRM is a client relationship manager, so it's your database. It's everything to do with your opportunities, your action plans, and so much more. All right. Today we're just going to concentrate on one part of it, and that's how do we get our information into command. So first, how do you get there? You go to agent.kw.com. When you log in with your credentials, you'll see this page. It's your home page. All right. There's two ways to get information or database uh, contacts into command. I'm going to first show you the easy way. Um, you go to your name up here in the upper right hand corner. You click settings and you run on down to wait for it. PySync. There's PySync right there, and we're just going to show details. What is PySync? PySync is a uh, it's it's kind of a a company that we work with to help database solutions. So the idea is that you can have a, a, a connection with your database, sending information back and forth with at, without having to input the database. For instance, you'll see that I'm connected with iCloud. What that means is all the contacts on my phone are automatically put into command and vice versa. Okay, let's see the connect more button to see what other databases work with PySync. So if you want to get your phone in there, it's quite easy. You just create a PySync connection. You'll see obviously it worked with um, it worked with uh, Apple and you'll see here it also works with uh, Google Contacts, Microsoft Exchange, uh, um, Office 365, and also some really oddball ones. Like, um, I mean, I don't even know what half of these companies are, but uh, real estate ones, Brivity, that's a new one, that's in there. Um, just run down the list and see if yours is here. Um, I should tell you right now that there's Follow Up Boss, that's a big one. Um, top producer is not in here yet. They have said that they are going to input it at some point. There's MailChimp. But it's not there yet. There's Mojo Help Desk. I think that's a Mojo connection, but I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so if your if your database is in here, there's Salesforce. Then this is the easiest way to do it. Okay. Remember, the first one is free. After that, they may charge you. So what we do? Um, oh, and there's a note right there that from March 18th, your largest sync will be on us and then you get a 50% discount on the other. What you could do is like if you have an iPhone and a Google account, you can import the iPhone one and then cancel the sync after it's done. You've got the information in and then, then open up a new one with Google. You, you can just use one at a time, okay? So that's the easy way. What is the hard way? Let's go back to the home at the dashboard and then we're gonna go into contacts. So this is the difficult way. And what we're gonna do is we're going to do the import button. All right. So you have to go to whatever CSV file you're using, be it Top Producer, be it Commission Zinc. You have to export what's called a CSV file. Okay. Once you export that CSV file, we have to import that data into a template. And then this is how you get the template. Hit the download button, and on the Mac, you'll see, book, there it is. And we will open it up just to show you what the template looks like. Where is it? I don't see it. So we'll try it again. Doot, doot. There she goes. Okay. Now, uh, this is the template that the information has to be in. Column A has to be the first name. Okay. Column I has to be the mobile phone. If you do not input the information into this template and just try and upload the CSV file directly into command, you will probably get the first word or the first name, but nothing else will work, okay? So you have to go to your old database, copy the first names of everything, and then paste it here. Then go to the old database, copy the last names, and paste them all here. Go to the mobile phone, see what I'm saying? It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but this is the way you can bring any CSV file in. It's, it's not going to be every or all the information in your old database because not everything is going to sync. But this will at least give you um, most of the important stuff to get your stuff in there. Okay. So that's the two ways to do it. I know this is a very broad overview. But uh, once you get that CSV file, by the way, you just drop it in here and command will automatically take care of it from there. It could take a couple hours. Just keep that in mind. 
Um, again, I know this is a broad overview, but it's just like the first step. If you need more detailed information, come on to Tech Tuesdays and we'll help you get it set up. And we hope you found this video informative.